Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now, changes have occurred to the file browser, which was first introduced in Photoshop 7.0. Now what you do to bring the file browser up is click the small folder button at the left of the palette well to access the file browser, or basically at the far right end of the options bar. Now remember you're only going to see your palette well and the toggle file browser button if your monitor's display is set to at least 1024 by 768 pixel resolution or higher. Now if you don't see it because maybe you're running an 800 by 600, which is fairly common, you can click on Window from the menu bar and just choose the File Browser command to display the File Browser as well. So in the upper left corner of the File Browser palette, you have a Folder Explorer, kind of like Windows Explorer. And you can click the plus or minus signs to collapse and expand the folders that are listed there if you'd like. You click on the folder within which you'd like to organize the files. So here I'm looking at the Images folder. You can see that's highlighted. And the images that are contained in that folder just display in the pane at right. Now here in the right pane, you can click on an image to view its file properties. And you'll see its metadata in the lower left-hand corner. So you can scroll through this looking at some of the properties. If you wish to actually find the image using Windows Explorer, you could select View in the little toolbar at the top of the file browser. And you could say Reveal Location in Explorer. That would actually bring up that image in your computer's filing system. Now to open a file in Photoshop displayed in the file browser, you can just double click on the file you want to open. Here I'm going to click OK because it's missing a color profile. And it opens up in a new window. Notice the file browser stays open. So let's say we close out this image. To close the file browser window, just click the X in the upper right corner of the separate file browser window. Or you could just go back to Window from the menu bar and choose File Browser to take the check from in front of the command, toggling it off. Now the File Browser is a nice feature to use. If you have a large quantity of items in a folder, you need to rank, flag, or sort quickly and easily. Because it does usually access several images at once in its thumbnail gallery, you might notice it's a bit slow to respond at times. Just make sure that you have a computer with quite a bit of free memory if you want to use this tool and have it be quick and responsive. Also notice some of the things that you can do in the file browser can be accessed by right-clicking an image. So if I right-click on an image, I should see a pop-up menu of some of the different commands that I can access. So I can open it, I can edit it in image ready, I could flag it, I could rank it with a certain ranking like A, B, or C. I could rename it, I could delete it, rotate it. So we have some different image options here as well. Now when you're done, just close out the file browser. And feel free to use that to open your images as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.